Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, you will learn how to marble gum paste and make a cute baby shoe topper. You will need your shoe templates, cutting, modeling and stitching tools, a rolling pin with spacers, a glass, cornstarch or shortening, water and gum paste in two or more colors. Let's get to it. This gum paste is from my last project. I will link that somewhere on the screen or in the description box below together with the gum paste recipe. To make the marble effect, roll your gum paste into long strips, arrange them side by side, twist and fold into two. Roll the twisted gum paste to a long strip. You can either cut it into two to make sausage-like strips or just fold it in half and twist. Roll and twist two more times, then roll the gum paste into a cinnamon roll like disc. Use cornstarch or shortening on your work surface to avoid sticking when you roll out your gum paste. Roll it to a thickness of about 4 to 5 millimeters. Place your shoe templates and cut out two pieces for the front part of the shoe and two pieces for the back. Place your cutouts in between two acetate sheets to keep them from drying out while you work on the front part of the shoe. Choose the side that has better marbling and with a stitch tool, make a stitch line on the narrow edge. I wanted to make a pattern on the shoe but I wasn't sure if I should use a piping nozzle or a star planjack. I settled for the star. I prefer working on both pieces first, then stick them to the shoe soles. Flip the pieces and with a paintbrush, apply a little water on the wider edge. Most of the times is when I have pre-made dried out shoe soles, but if you don't have them pre-made, you can cut them out first, let them firm up as you prepare your gum paste. Attach the sticky edge to the rim of the shoe sole and smooth it out with your finger or a modeling tool. 
support the piece with kitchen towels or serviettes. I'm really sorry I kept getting out of shot there. Place a stitch line on the edges of the back pieces. Flip them over and apply water on the sides and the lower edge. Attach the back pieces making sure the strap is coming in from the inner side of the shoe towards the out. Use a modeling tool to push it in a little and with your stitch tool make a stitch line on the lower edge of the shoe and support it with serviettes. Stick the stars you had cut out on the strap and let the shoe dry for at least 24 hours. Thank you for watching.